In 1972, John and Alice Tyler established the Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement. In the years since, the prize has rewarded 70 individuals and four organizations from around the world for their pioneering work in environmental science, policy, and economics. This year's recipient is Jose Saracan. Jose is not just a biologist who's become very active and positive in politics. Jose is a first-rate research biologist, first-rate ecologist, first-rate evolutionist. When uh, 1992 came, uh, deforestation in the tropics started becoming evident where the rate of tropical deforestation had got completely rampant and there was no way of controlling it. Jose Sarucan began to look at the problem of why Mexico's tropical forests were in very bad shape. When the explosive growth of uh, urban middle classes uh, in Mexico, in Latin America, and also the demand in the United States for beef uh, led to large programs to clear cut the wet tropical forests and convert them into pasture lands. Jose saw that there was a tremendous impact of uh, uh, projects on development for the country impacting this precious resource, the tropical rainforest ecosystems of Mexico. Losing biodiversity means we're, we're squandering our wealth. When people began in Mexico to realize what the situation was, Jose became the man with a plan. Jose decided it was time to show the president that it could be done in another way. He decided, I think very courageously, that science alone would not remain in the country unless it was ingrained in institutions which didn't yet exist. His friends, we all thought he was crazy. He was getting into the middle of the hornet's nest. Jose Sarucan organized a meeting in the National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City in which he invited people like Dan Jansen, Paul Ehrlich, Peter Raven, Harold Mooney, all names, many of them, uh, Tyler Awardees. They presented him a plan. Jose was the catalyzer, and he was so convinced, President Salinas, that he readily accepted this proposal. This commission, which is recognized worldwide and is known by its Mexican acronym CONABIO, exists today and is presided by Jose Sarucan. Biodiversity is absolutely essential because we depend completely on it. We are part of it, we are related to all the species that form this universe that we call biodiversity. Nothing that we have done as humankind could have been done without the relation to biodiversity. Conavio is important because it has allowed us in Mexico to have the intelligence. It sort of generates a sense of property of the community towards this, this apparatus, this, this commission. We have hundreds of thousands of people working with us now and generating not only information, but generating a culture of valuation and respect and care for our natural resources. I think he had the courage to move from the comfort of well-recognized science into governance issues, into policy, influencing issues. Jose Sarucan identified the problem, the tremendous degradation of biodiversity in the country. Canabio has truly transformed not only the, the study and use of biodiversity in Mexico, but internationally as well. We selected Jose Sarucan as the obvious Tyler Prize laureate for 2017.